Today I'm going to show you how to create and sign fillable PDF forms using a tool called PDF Element from Wondershare. PDF Element is an all-in-one PDF editing tool that has a very intuitive user interface. It's easy to learn, easy to use, and it's a lower cost option than some of the other solutions that you may come across. I want to thank Wondershare for sponsoring this video and for offering a comprehensive PDF editor that gives us all the elements we need to create and sign PDF forms. I do have an affiliate link to Wondershare in the description below this video. Be sure and sign up using that link below. You can give it a try. I'll also include a link to any discounts or promotions that might be available. Let's get started. The first thing I want to show you real quickly is how you can download PDF Element. Simply click on the link in the description below the video and it will take you to the Wondershare website where you can come up here at the very top in the black banner, you'll see PDF solutions, just click on that, and then there's a drop down, and then select PDF element. This will take you to a page where you can read more information about the product. You can scroll down on this page and it will give you some additional information about the product. For example, it's not just a way to create PDF forms. You can actually edit PDF documents. You can convert PDF files. You can annotate on PDFs. So there are a lot of different things that you can do with PDF element. When you're ready to try it out, all you have to do is click on try it free and it will install the free trial version on your desktop and you can use it from there. So I'm going to go ahead and open up PDF element on my desktop. And when you open it up, it will open up to this home page and you can actually open up any PDF document that you want and start from here. So what we're going to do today is we're going to actually create a fillable PDF form. And I actually have the form that I want to use. I've actually created the outline of the form that I want to create as a PDF fillable form in Microsoft Word. All right, so here I have my outline and it's in my Word document. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually save this as a PDF. So I'm going to go up to file, save a copy. And then over here, I'm going to select the drop down and just pick the PDF file type. And then I'll click save. So I'm back in the PDF element application. I'm going to come up here to open and I'm going to select my new PDF file. And I'm going to click open. All right, so this opens up my PDF in the PDF element editor area here. Notice at the top where we have the different things that you can do in PDF element. We can comment, edit, convert, and then over here you'll see a couple other tools. I'm going to go over to form. And this is where we can build our form elements onto our PDF document here. So under the form area, you'll notice we have a, an option for a text box, checkbox, radio buttons, a combo box, and several other form elements that you'll see that you can use. When you hover over the icons, it'll tell you what that icon is for, and you can select what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the add text, and we're going to come down here and just use our mouse cursor and, and click our mouse where we want to place the text box. And we can customize this from here. So we can change the shape by actually just selecting and dragging in so we can scale down the size of that text box if we want to. Then we can simply grab it and move it around the document. So I'm going to place it down here on the date line and I'm going to move it up just a little bit. All right, now to edit this form field, I'm going to double click inside of it. And this opens up a properties window. Here I can actually name the text field if I want to. I'm going to call this date. And the tooltip is a hover tip that will pop up when the user hovers their mouse over the form field. So here I might want to say enter today's date. Um, over here on the left hand side of the properties window, you'll see you have lots of different options. We can change the appearance of the text box itself. For example, if we want to put a border color around it, we can. If we want to have a fill color, we also can choose that. So I might want to have a lavender colored fill color. I can just select a color. Under the options area, I can select how I want the text aligned within that text box. And I also have some different options down here for automatically it will check spelling and it will scroll for long text if a lot of text is entered into that text box. You can also limit the number of characters in that form field from here as well. 
actions would be if you want something to happen after a user takes an action and some of the trigger actions are mousing out of or exiting your mouse out of the button. And then you can select what might happen. For example, you might want to open a web link or an attachment or something like that that you can program here as an action. Also, you have some options to format, validate, and then also create calculating form fields with, the, with these options. I'm gonna go ahead and click Close. And then if I want to preview, I can come up here to the Edit area and click the button, and this will let me preview my form. So I can come in here and type in today's date and hit Tab. And notice that the form field is the lavender color that I selected when I formatted that field. I'm going to come back up and edit. And then let's say that I want to copy this text form field so that I have open text fields for the name and manager's name. All I have to do is select that box, hit Control C, can copy it, and then I can hit Control V to paste. And then I can drag those text boxes uh, where I want to place them in the document. I'm not going to worry too much right now about aligning them because there is a tool I'll show you in just a second that will show me show you how to align those those boxes. And so I'm going to place those here. I'm going to go ahead and double click on these and I'm going to edit the general information. We're going to call this one name and then I'm going to say enter your full name and then click close and then on this one we're going to call this one the manager name and enter your manager's name. Close. Now, if I want to align all of these text boxes, all I have to do is select one of them, hit control and hold the control button while I select the other ones. And then I can come up here to align and then I'm going to say left align. And this will move all of those boxes so that they are aligned on the left hand side. Now let's say I want to put a drop down list for employment status. I'm going to come up here to the combo box option and I'm going to click on add combo box. Then I'm going to come down here with my mouse onto my document and it's going and I just click my mouse button and it places a combo box. I'm going to come back and turn that off. For my combo box here, I'm going to double click inside so that I can edit the combo box. So we're going to call this status. And my tooltip is going to say enter employment status. I can also edit the appearance here, just like we did on the other text box options. Under the options element here, we can add our drop down list items. So I'm going to add full time. I'm going to click add and then I'm going to put part time and add. Uh, I have the option to sort items. I can move them up and down here. I can delete items if I need to. I can also select um, to enter the selected value immediately um, after it's selected. I'm going to go ahead and hit close. And I'm going to scale down this box here by dragging in uh, the bottom arrow there and just sizing it down a little bit. All right, now I'm going to position it over so that it's aligned with the other boxes. And again, my shortcut there is to select the other boxes by holding down the control option and then coming up to align and then clicking left align. And that will align everything to the leftmost bar there. And now if I want to see a preview of what that looks like, I can come up here to the edit button, click that, it'll switch to the preview area and I can select my box here and I have the drop down where I can select full time or part time. All right, I'm going to come back up to edit. And I'm going to scroll down and show you a couple more form field elements that you can use in your forms. I'm going to show you the checkbox real quick. You can click on the checkbox option, come down into your document and place your checkbox wherever you need to have a checkbox by just clicking your mouse. And then from here, you can double click to open the properties of that checkbox. And then you can hover a tooltip. Usually with a checkbox, you don't necessarily need a tip. You can, you can change the appearance if you want to. Um, the options here allow you to change whether you want, when the user checks that checkbox, you can have it be a check mark. You can have it be a filled in circle, a cross or X in there. So 
so you can select what you want that check mark to look like. So I'm going to leave it as a check mark and I'm just going to click close. I'm going to scale this down here to the size that I want. And then I'm going to place it where I want to have it in the document. And then I can hit Control C to copy and paste. And then I can drag my form, my checkbox over. And then if I need to, I'll, I can come back, hit Control to select both checkboxes. And then come up to align. And then I'm going to say align horizontal center. And that brings those into alignment if they happen to be off. All right, the next thing I wanted to show you is how to use the radio buttons. And the radio buttons are buttons that you can use for either a yes, no option or something that the user, once the user selects that radio button, the, it can, they can only select one or the other. And so we're gonna use a radio button down here for either approved or denied. So I'm gonna come up, select add radio button. I'm gonna come down here and just place it and I'm gonna double click, and I'm gonna choose options, and I'm gonna leave this as a circle, and I'm gonna change the appearance so that the border color is purple. And I'm gonna click close. I'm gonna scale this down, and I'm going to copy and paste. Now I'm gonna to go to preview, and if I select approved, if I go to select denied, it will unselect approved so that there can only be one radio button option. All right, I'm gonna go back to my edit mode and now I'm gonna show you real quick how you could enter in a box in case you want, need your users to digitally sign the form. And so this is where you would come, you would actually come up here and select the add a digital signature box. If you press that, you can come down here and place the digital signature box anywhere on your document where you want someone to sign. Again, you can scale that down to fit into your form. And you can drag and place the box wherever you would like to put it within your PDF document. And then you can double click and you'll notice that you also have signature properties as well that you can set up on the signature box. I'm gonna close and then when I click on preview, a user would actually be able to sign here by clicking inside the document. They can use an existing digital ID and, if they, and password, and if they don't have one, they can create one and sign up for one. I'm gonna close out of here now and go back to edit. All right, so if you want your users to be able to just sign their name either freehand or type it in or actually upload a copy of an electronic signature file that they may have on their computer in order to sign the form, you can do that and instruct your users to use the free PDF reader from Wondershare. And so the PDF reader looks like this. Once you download it, it's free for any of your users. You could put together a quick reference guide on how they would download and use this tool so that they can sign forms for you. And if you want to see how to create a quick reference guide, be sure and check out the other video on my channel on how to do that. All right, so real quickly in the PDF reader here, um, it's a nice feature. You can actually come down where you want to insert the signature or have a user insert their signature. And then they would actually be up here on the comment tab and select this option here for signature. And we're gonna click create. This opens up an add signature window where you user can actually use their mouse and write their signature. They can actually sign their name there. Or uh, if they have a touch screen, they can touch screen and, and sign it that way. They can change the color if they want to and the thickness, you can scale that up so it's thicker. Um, you can erase parts of it if you need to redo it. Um, you also have the option, the users have the option of typing their signature. So you could type your name in there to sign it, or you can even upload a signature file. So if you happen to have a clear background PNG file of your signature that you want to download, all you have to do is select it and include that. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and select a signature that I know that I have on file and I'm gonna click open and I'm gonna click OK. And this will insert that signature file. Now I can select that file and I can scale it down and I can come to the bar here and drag it where I need to place it in the document. I'm gonna size it down a little bit and I'm gonna move it down here and I'm gonna hover over the rotation handle and slightly rotate the signature file. And that is a way that your users can electronically sign your fillable PDF form. In addition to being able to create and sign fillable forms, like I mentioned before, you also have the option to comment on your PDF documents. You can edit them, convert them into different file types. Um, when you comment on them, there are things you can do like highlighting text, you can draw arrows and circle things, add notes, so that there's it's a really a good collaboration tool that you can use. And Wondershare does offer a free watermarked trial version of the product, so you can give it a try and see how you like it. And then they also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee that you can check out. Wondershare also offers some other neat products that you might want to check out, including something called Recover It, which is a document recovery product. They also make Filmora, which is a very popular video editing tool. Remember to sign up using the affiliate link in the description below the video, and I'll be sure and include any discounts that I have available as well. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.